We'll uh, throw it up to the questions. I'll just look to my right. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's as good as I've seen uh, against a very good ball club. Uh, he made pitch after pitch after pitch when we had you. You know, when you're in a, a close ball game, three three at one point, and then four three, and you're holding on, uh, just trying to hang in there for your life. You know, just to keep playing. Uh, you've got to have something like that happen for you. And he was outstanding. I mean, I, I haven't seen a performance at this level on this stage as good as that in a long time. He's very very good today. So Jimmy Reyes has uh, got us over the hump, and we did just enough offensively to to, to hang in there. So you live for another day. Questions? Uh, your thoughts on uh, sending back out for the eight? Ended up with 135 pitches today. Yes, you know, and everybody will question that, and, and I understand that. That's the most uh, we were talking about on the way up. That's the most pitches a pitcher of mine's ever thrown in 13 years. And I don't like doing it, uh, but he felt strong. He, his fastball still had life on it, still had velocity on it. And he told me he felt good. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to. He wanted the ball tonight, and then. You know, our season's over. If we lose, we know that, but we weren't going to let him go out with one more. So that's a tough decision, and you, you always want to make the right one. You want to take care of the kid first. Uh, but he was strong, and, uh, you know, nothing was tweaked or anything, and, and he felt good, so I let him talk him into it. How do you come out of it? Uh, I feel pretty good. Um, no different than I feel after every game like this. Jimmy, can you talk about that seventh inning? Uh, of course, you ran in a little bit of trouble, and you got the mound visited, and it seemed like it just really calmed down and, and, and got to that last hitter. Can you just kind of talk about how that all came together? Yeah, well, uh, I guess the big thing in pitching with me is that I just try and take it one pitch at a time, and you run into trouble when you you know, don't think one pitch at a time. And after uh, Coach Brandon came out there and you know, calmed me down a little bit, I just went back to you know, saying one pitch at a time, one pitch at a time, and you know, you know, luckily it worked out. Uh, what did you strike him out with, by the way? Um, I believe that was a slider. Do you think we're safe better to improve for a second? I thought you took a different approach after the first couple of innings, uh, coming in harder, I guess, on the inside. And did you, was that the plan to keep it off the track? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I have a lot of faith in what Coach Kennedy calls, and, you know, uh, yeah, the first couple of innings, the reason why they were hitting the ball wasn't because, uh, you know, they were bad pitch calls, it was because I was going right over the middle of the plate. So, you know, once I guess I got to the plan after about the second, third inning, and, you know, things started going my way from there. Jimmy, the way the ball's flying out of here yesterday, uh, how easy is it to step on that mound today? Um, you know, I really wasn't thinking about it. You know, just, you just control what you can control. You, know, you can't control the ballpark. You can't control the set. You can't control the wind. You know, you can only control the pitch that you throw. So. Coach, uh, yesterday, yeah, you know, it's not an easy decision. Kerwood's our guy, and he's been, a, he's been a guy all year. But he's got some tenderness, too. You know, when he came out of the game yesterday, he had to go to the trainers, he had to work on them. Uh, you know, so I don't know. I think another day would have, would have helped. We had him going, and if we needed a point there late, we probably would have went to him. Uh, but bottom line is, he didn't feel 100% coming into the day. And, you know, right now, his mental state uh, is not great. And, and we knew that. We were aware of that. And so uh, we got to win two more games to get where we want to go. And, and if we're going to do that, he's going to have to pitch. And he's going to have to pitch well. And, and my job tonight is to make sure he understands that. And he, he's not happy with me right now. You know, he won the ball. And, and that's what you want. You want all your guys to be that way. Uh, he didn't say a word to me after the game. He looked me in the eye. And I, I know why. And I understand why. Uh, but, you know, he's not 100% healthy. And at least he wasn't this morning. Uh, he felt better as the game went along and when he tossed some and Jody said he was good to go, so we got him going. Uh, the biggest thing was, you know, mentally trying to get him in the right state. He'll be out there tomorrow. Can you just look ahead a little bit to tomorrow? I mean, stay in the game. I have no idea. Uh, to be quite honest with you, we'd like to throw a Harold check. He's been a guy that started a bunch for us. He's our center fielder, but he's had some back issues here lately. And, uh, so I don't know how healthy he is. We'll, we'll let Jody work on him and see if she can get him lined up right. If he's good, maybe him. If not, uh, you know, Kenny Farrar uh, could bounce back. He threw 40 pitches yesterday, but he's got a rubber arm and, and bounced back pretty good. Uh, Granado's pitched good lately. We've stretched him out a little more than we normally have. So we got to play two games to get where we want to go. So all the guys will probably pitch if we play well in the first one. Dave, what about the ball in the ninth inning? You're a uh, sixth league appearance in the season. That's a pretty key spot. Yeah, just, uh, just going in and pumping the zone. And Make my defense make plays behind us, and as long as that happens, and everything comes together.
just go in and throw strikes. That was my mindset. Yeah, you've been in that situation before, but it's been a while. Yeah. You think the kind of readjust or? Yeah, it was about, I'll say it, it was freshman year. So, I mean, I've been in that situation before. And just, like I said, no different than what I've always done, just go in and throw strikes. I'll make a quick statement on Daniel Britt. If you're going to put anybody into a situation that's tough that they've never been in, he's the guy because he, he doesn't care about anything. You know, he's the best laid back as a kid uh, you'll ever be. He's from Chadburn, North Carolina, so that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to admit, I get that. All I got. <laughs> No, what's going on? Uh, Coach, we were talking about Harold Check. You know, how fitting is it for you guys to end up winning this game essentially on the home run? And it seems like it's been the bread and butter for you guys this year. Yeah, you know, he's been a great player for us, and he's actually struggled. I mean, he'll tell you, he has to play well down the stretch. He got off to a great start. And, uh, you know, his batting average has stayed there, and his numbers are good. He's got good numbers, but, uh, you know, anytime you put up the numbers he did last year, there's so much expected out of you. Uh, and sometimes kids don't handle that very well, and he struggles some. But for him today to, to get a big hit and give us you know, the lead there, uh, I'm just I'm happy for him. He needed something positive to happen, and, and it did with that. He can go home, go to bed tonight, and feel better about himself. And then tomorrow, uh, so much of baseball uh, is confidence. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're confident, you can do a lot of things. Bennett Davis, for example, before we got in this tournament, that kid would struggle a little bit not playing as well. He got a couple big hits in our conference tournament. Now all of a sudden he believes in himself again. He's a much better hitter. You know, there's so much confidence. And now hopefully that'll carry uh, Corey into tomorrow. Hey, you gave up a single first guy, and normally you have a chance to settle in your starter. You know, work the way through these things. There's no room for error today. What's going to be your mind now? Well, uh, I thought I made an okay pitch. I mean, it was pretty down. and. Uh, he got it. I tip my hat to him, so I did just come in the next batter, just make sure, just damage control. So just make sure he doesn't score, and then that uh, that hard hit ball to right field kind of made me, made me think a little bit. I was, that was supposed to be inside. It was right kind of middle of the plate. So, I mean, just come in and do what I do, get ground balls, and I figured I'd be all right. That was one ground ball I got, so I figured if I could get three more, I'd be all right. Yeah, I mean, he's seeing pretty good right now. And, and again, this ballpark, man, it, and we thought we had a small park. This thing plays uh, pretty small, and, and you know, that benefits us. You know, uh, yeah, today I thought we tried to do too much, we tried to swing for the fence a little too much. We popped some balls up, missed some balls in the infield. Um, we spent all week, you know, working on trying to get on top of the ball, and the result was we put good swings on the ball yesterday. Uh, today, I think we were a little excited about what we did yesterday. Got a little long, got a little big, and then missed the ball. But Bennett's seeing it really good right now. Even the out, he made, you know, hard hit ball to right center and, and smoked that ball pretty good. So he's making hard outs, and, and he's seeing it pretty good right now. Sir, sir, didn't the opportunity to play one more day? No, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you know, our goal is not to get here. And, and you know, we have stressed that to our players year, day in and day out throughout this season. Getting here is not enough for us. We're trying to get beyond that with our program. Uh, you know, we're a little old Elon in North Carolina. We're surrounded by Chapel Hill, you know, Duke, NC State, Wake Forest. And we got a good thing going over there. And, and the plan is uh, to, to get to the next step, to take that next step and get to the next level. And our goal is to try to get to Sunday night. And uh, yeah, if we can do that, then we will we, we'll take the step and, you know, help recruiting and, and you know, all those things that come along with being a successful program. So that's the step we're trying to take. Being here is not good enough for us. And our guys know that. Uh, you know, if we lose tomorrow, we're going to be disappointed. I promise you that. And, yeah, you know, we'll look back and understand that we had a good year, uh, but we'll be disappointed with how we finished. Two more questions. Two years ago, said that you asked for the ball, right? Did you, did you think you had any chance of winning that uh, request? Um, I don't know. I knew I, I knew I didn't. Uh, my pitch count wasn't low. I knew that was uh, sure, but I didn't know really how many I had. And Coach said, you know, I had 135 pitches, and I kind of, kind of said, okay, you know. There's plenty of other guys on the team that can get the job done, for, you know, for an in and get it done. Anything else, guys? Okay. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Thank you.